That's your, that should be a hooper shit. You okay, man? Yeah, okay. Hey guys, Corey, farm manager here at Eco Farm. Sorry we missed you last week. I unfortunately got sick, so I wasn't able to put out a video, but we're making up for it this week. All right, what's up guys? Kamal Singh, property manager here at the Eco Farm. We're glad to have Corey back this week. And we had an update for you guys. We prepped the beds in the upper garden using the BCS. We made 30 inch beds. And we also planted onions. And the other thing we did in the back orchard is we, Jeremy came here last week and we opened up the trenches wider, three feet. And then Corey and I went this week and we opened up the, the channel so the water can start flowing. So when they turn on the ditch at the, uh, at the river, we will start having water and we'll show you the video on that. We have a short uh, one minute video for that. And I'm gonna show you how we wash our eggs and give you some more information about that. As well as we installed a injection siphon system and a new filter for our irrigation system. So we'll show you all that today. So this week we are really trying to get our beds prepared. So what I'm doing right now is I'm laying out a string line, which was a technique I learned from Eric Schultz at Steadfast Farms. And we're gonna use that string line as a guide for our BCS ground blaster. There are a variety of ways you can make your beds and mark them out. You could just do the whole thing with string line and use a shovel and do it by hand. In our case, we have our BCS, so we're doing the automatic route. But we also used our tractor last year because the wheel spacing was exactly 30 inches, which is our bed top. So that worked just as good as well. So this is the BCS with the rotary plow. And as you can see, the rotary plow is just plowing dirt from the wheel path onto the bed. And we built a metal arm, which you can see as a guide. So we have 30 inch bed tops and 18 inch row paths. And so that middle arm is two feet away from the center of the BCS. So once the beds are made, then all we have to do is spread some compost on the surface of the bed, then incorporate it in and then give it a rake and we'll be ready for planting. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna make some uh spaces with this 10 inch spacer for planting our onions okay let's check it out this is another great tool that we use here at eco farm it's called a bed marker and we got it at never sink farms and it's really handy because it sets out a grid so you can keep your plants nice and spaced out nice and even what do you got there man all right so today we're planting our onions Onions are definitely one of my favorite things to grow. They're pretty simple. There's a variety of ways that you can plant onions. You can either plant them from seed, but that takes much longer, or you can just buy transplants online, which is what we did from Dixondale Farms. And the advantage of buying transplants is that they're usually ready with, within 65 days or less. So it's a huge advantage when you're trying to get some onions out of the ground. We try to get our onions in the ground four to six weeks before the last frost date. We're in the last week of February right now, so we'll, we probably have another month or so to go before we see that last frost date. So we're getting our onions in the, the ground right at the correct time. So one thing about onions is that if they get too dry, they will crack. So you wanna make sure that they at least get one inch of water per week. All right, moving right on to our egg operation. We at Eco Farm currently have 68 hens and two roosters, and that gives us about 18 dozen to 15 dozen eggs per week. We collect them once a week, and then we wash them. And we are also registered nest run egg producers in Arizona, which is pretty simple to do. All you have to do is fill out an application with the Arizona Department of agriculture and then you can sell up to 750 dozen eggs per week all the eggs that we sell are unwashed and ungraded one thing that we 
make sure we do every time is get all the poop off and that's actually required by law there is a bacterial membrane that is naturally on the eggs when they're laid and that membrane actually helps keep other bacteria out and helps seal the egg so we try not to wash that off as much as possible because it makes the eggs last much longer if you're interested in buying eco farm eggs you can go to our website at goecofarm.org and you'll find our contact information there. Contact us and we will reach out to you and let you know where you can buy our eggs. We had another big project going on this week. We decided to install a new filtration system. Luckily for us, we had, we had lying around a Toro plastic disc filter. So basically what this thing does is it's gonna help us filter out all the sediment that comes from our water source, which is the Verde Valley River. What has been happening is that there's been so much sediment in the river and it fluctuates, especially during flooding season, that all the sediment tends to gather on the bottom of our storage tanks. So we're hoping by installing this filter which is about 125 microns that we will be able to filter out all that sediment. This will also help us keep sediment from clogging our drip tape emitters, which is starting to become an issue. Overall, I would say that this was a pretty simple install. I probably had the hardest time getting that black tubing on. So what I did is I soaked it in some hot water and put some uh, water-based lubricant on it and it pretty much worked. Um, we almost got it all the way on. Then we used a heat gun to loosen it up a little bit more and then it slipped right on. And since we were already working on our irrigation system, we thought that we may as well add a injection system as well. So this is a very cheap injection system. It's only $15 that we got online at Amazon. So this system will allow us to get fertilizer and compost tea directly to our plants through our drip tape system, which is gonna help out a lot and save a lot of time and labor. All right, that took a uh, more than I expected. So there we have it. We have our injection system installed right here. And we got our filter. All right, guys. So that was it for today. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps our channel out. And we also have a little message that Kamal wants to tell you. Yeah, so we've been doing a lot of updates on this Equal Farm channel. We had a Earth Citizens Organization channel that we haven't posted any videos lately, but we will start posting videos on that channel, give you updates on that one. And then we'll try to combine the two channels together, you know, when, when it's, uh, let's say when it's a big, big news, we'll start posting it on that channel here and the farm updates will be on this channel. So like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys, see you next week. <laughs>